folks, John here from Soaring Tortoise Enterprises at Al. I uh, made another DIY practice lap steel guitar here. Um, when I saw this, this is the Jupiter, and when I saw this uh, piece of uh, untreated pine 2x6 out in my shed, I noticed this knot which reminded me of the great storm on Jupiter, and so I essentially built this guitar around that knot. It is made from uh, all recycled materials. We have a very hard piece of plastic down here um, for the nut. The U-channel, aluminum U-channel, it's been milled down here and drilled out for the strings and the uh, mounting holes. have an old uh, Korean single coil pickup from uh, the late 80s, perhaps early 90s. Um, I did have to put some taller pole pieces on the outside poles to balance the strings out uh, because this is a guitar pickup with uh, string spacing for a regular electric guitar and this has wider string spacing. We have a volume and a tone. I cheated kind of here too. I needed uh, 250k for the single coil and I only had 500k so they each have a 470k resistor strapped across them to have their value. Um, it doesn't really, it, the volume is pretty, works pretty nicely. It's pretty smooth still. The uh, tone has a very cool, you can get a very cool uh, effect out of it. So that was a happy accident. Um, other than that, it's been painted, finished, uh, and is ready, ready to play. So let's give it a demonstration. I'm going to lay down a little loop of what I started with here. So that's how it sounds clean. We're playing through this old K550. It's actually two amps in one. It has two uh, single-ended 6V6 5-watt amps. One is a dry amp, which then feeds a reverb tank, which then feeds a wet amp. So it's very cool. You can hear that reverb. All right. Then I've got some effects up here. I'm going to tune up to E. some delay, some uh, phase, uh, and this here fuzz, forget to do that. Let's try this again.
Alright, so there you go, another DIY lap steel guitar, the Jupiter. Thanks for watching, everybody.